On the table today, we have a huge haul of Fortnite Toys Summer 2020. This is pretty unbelievable. We've got Fortnite vending machines. We have Fortnite squad mode packs. We have a Fortnite battle bus that fits all these guys. We've got the baller. So many figures to go through. Pretty much impossible. A little bit of a toy explosion, or a toy avalanche, or a toy foon going on at Squirrel Stampede right now. August 1st, 2020. A bunch of stuff released at stores. So a lot of Fortnite, a lot of Minecraft dungeons. Mario Lego, so much stuff is hitting the shelves right now, so you're gonna have to bear with the squirrels as we try to get through all this. Whoa! Dan! Calm down! Don't worry, I'll go get you some more Mountain Dew! So I think today we are going to try out the Fortnite vending machines. These things look pretty cool. They're kind of like the giant loot llamas with a bunch of stuff packed in them. And then as the weeks go on, we'll check out the squad mode packs and the battle bus and all of this great stuff because I just couldn't say no to any of this. Squirrel Stampede! Please swipe Squirrel so there they are, the two very giant Fortnite vending machines with 8-ball and Ruin 71 pieces inside. This thing is enormous. Also, the smaller vending machine with Fallen Love Ranger 19 pieces inside. Oh, there is so much to look for. I once knew a squirrel who hibernated in a vending machine all winter long. And I was that squirrel. On the backs of the vending machines, many of the fine items we will find inside. Loaded with weapons, back bling, and other great accessories. Who knows what we'll find inside? It's always a surprise, right? So how do we get inside these giant vending machines? I think just from the front, the obvious pull here tab up on the top. So let's open this up and see what we're going to find. Oh no, here we go again. <laughs> Always confetti with these. Just when I thought my office was going to be filled with just Fortnite packaging, I forgot there's always the vending machine loot, llama pinata, filler material. Oh wow, it's crazy. It's everywhere. Look at it over here. It's over here too. Everybody got that? It's over here. Oh, oh my goodness. My poor, poor studio today. This is great though. We're going to just bust open the front of this now and see. What is inside this thing? Oh, look at that. More, more pieces. These toys make the best nesting materials. I mean, how am I going to keep track of all this? I mean, seriously. There's, there's so pieces. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Wow. Um, yeah, oh boy. Okay, so I organized this as best as I can. I have a pile of weapons over here, a pile of, I don't know what that is over there. These must be the figures, and maybe some back bling in here. I had no idea this thing would be just as crazy as the Loot Llama Pinata for some reason. Actually a pretty good price point though, $50. The Jumbo Loot Llama from last year was more like $80 when it first came out. Well anyhow, let's get right to the figures. We'll start off with what we all want to see. Oh, right on, 8-baller! And... Ruin. Here's the thing with Fortnite right now. I know it's a very polarizing game right now, with some squirrel libers absolutely loving it, and other squirrel libers absolutely hating it. I don't get to play the game too much. For me, it is all about the incredible diversity of toys. No other toy line offers these crazy abundant amount of different kinds of characters and skins. It's a toy collector's dream, and 8-Ball and Ruin are awesome. Now, if we could just find their weapons in here somewhere and harvesting tools, we can dress them up a little bit. This will take a few minutes. Let's get these weapons out. And look at all the accessories we just opened up in record time. Ah! There would be the ball bling. We'll put that on 8-Ball. That's got to be an awkward thing to carry about on your back. Did I get that right? 
And I guess we'll put the dragon crest over onto Ruin here. That would match him pretty well. I love all the knights. Those are some of the scariest, coolest figures. As I have struggled to get the back bling on. Come on. There we go. It was just a little bit wide in the back of the peg. Okay, so what else do we have? We have the wild cube back bling. Pretty sure that's something Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel would wear. We have the Dread Harvesting Tool! There you go, Ruin. Ruin's fighting me today for some reason. Doesn't want to put any of his stuff on. The Bank Shots Harvesting Tool for 8-Ball. There's two of them in here, or there was two of them. I don't know what happened to the other one. That's a little different to have Double Harvesting Tool. There's the other one. It's nice getting two really solid figures with this pack, by the way. And then lots of other gear. What is this? This is the Dark Shield back bling. Oh, that's really nice. That almost would work with Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel, too. There's a Ghost Portal. I think, haven't we seen one of these before? I think we've seen a Ghost Portal before. Legendary Assault Rifle. We have a Drum Gun. This must be the Combat Shotgun. Oh, there's so many little weapons in here to go through. Can't name them all in the time provided. Anybody want to help me out in the comments? Look at these. These are great. Oh, and what's this here? We've got the dual comma black bling. Another one for Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel. And this is this piece. The black, black hole, hole back, back bling. bling. Pretty cool. All of these Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel approved. Oh man, I gotta find a secret spot for all these great weapons before I lose them and all the confetti and this great back bling. We'll just put these aside for now. And then we can start figuring out what is in some of these other packs. What's in this thing? Ah, it's a cozy campfire. Light up, huh? Oh, just like kind of the other ones. I love these, you tap them and they kind of light up for a second. These are always amazing, and for a fire, perfect, because it almost resembles fire. And then behind 8-Ball, we've got building materials, some metal, all with posts, perfect for display fans. And I believe there's 10 in here. Oh, we're going to make something. What do we got? I think I see the shape of a llama. There we go, one of the DJ Llama almost pixel art who wants to label in the comments for me. Oh, another plate. And which way does this even go? I need to play Fortnite more. Oh, there we go, that's gotta be it. Look out! And, oh, more back here. Oh, sorry, Ruin goes down, he slips on confetti. Oh, that's gotta be embarrassing. He's gonna go into his uh, dock. Say, I can do some incredible things in Fortnite, but then I slipped on confetti on the set a Squirrel Stampede, and now I'm here with a dislocated uh, third vertebrae. <laughs> Looks like a can of chunky tuna. What is this? Anybody want to say what this could be? Soda. And one more pack. More building materials. I think there should be 10 just regular building materials of steel in here. Okay, now, what is this? Last time we built a huge clock tower. This time, what is inside? I think it might be a giant cube. And it is. We are going to construct the cube. The cube. Look at all this. Oh, I hope we don't have to like make sure the writing is all in the right direction. That could take a few years. Oh my goodness. More pieces of the cube. This thing is going to be enormous. Holy moly! Look at all the pieces for the cube. Uh, let's take a short tea time and uh, hopefully it'll be built by the time we get back. And there it is, behold the cube. Now it is written here and here where the cube construction will make you go insane. This is one intense puzzle box. Well, not too bad. You'll want to budget about a half hour to 45 minutes. The good news is if you are careful, each of those square packs has one wall of the cube. 
and they're actually numbered inside. If you look at the reverse side, it says one, two, three, four, or four, or something like that. Then you build six identical wall pieces, exactly like this photo here. Do not deviate. Then it gives some other instructions for placing them around the bottom, placing them into this pattern, flipping it upside down, then building up the walls, and then placing on the top. The problem is you just have to stay really focused because if you get a side or something off just a little bit, everything goes maddening. But boy, did it turn out great. What an awesome accessory or, well, playset or something to have with this giant vending machine pack. Oh, and this one right here, that one says you will pinch your fingers really badly. So that is the bulk of this. Oh, we have one more. We have one more weapon I missed. Uh-oh. There we go. How did I miss this one? And that is the giant 71-piece Fortnite vending machine. Wow, what an incredible run that pack goes for. So if 71 pieces is too much vending machine for you, check out the Fortnite smaller vending machine with Fallen Love Ranger. This pack only has 19 pieces, but still a lot of vending machine fun. Over on the back of the box, you'll see that we've got a 4-inch Fallen Love Ranger inside, pool party back bling, and a bunch of other pieces. Let's get right into this one. Of course, the main question is, will there be more confetti? Let's find out. Oh, not so much, but a little bit. And more bags! So again, let's group by weapons, try to sort this out a little bit. There we go, let's find the Fallen Love Ranger, that's gotta be this one. Oh, this one actually turns out better than what it looks like on the box. Whoa, how cool. On the box art, Fallen Love Ranger looks so shaded and detailed and the color doesn't pop as much as the pants on this one pops. Really creepy look with all the gray too up on the torso and head. Has all that great spiral body art going on too. That is a cool looking figure. So now let's go through a few weapon packs. Oh, there's so many again. And more weapons and back bling. Can you even see it in all this confetti? Now we're starting to see a lot of repeated weapons, I believe. I mean, they might be different levels, but some of these we've seen before several times. But some of these are great to see. Oh, we've even got a clinger in here. I think we've seen that one before. Have we seen the pool party back bling before in the 4-inch series? I know McFarlane had one on... Drift, I believe, the Drift pack way back when Fortnite first was starting to release in toys. Uh, oh, here's the um, Master Portal back bling. That's a really cool one. I always like the ones with the transparency on the back there. Oh, and there is the Lightning Cloak. That might be a good one for our Fallen Love Ranger to try on so he won't be so cold, right? There we go. Lean him against the wall before he falls. So a great assortment. Oh, here's another one here is the Primal Danger back bling. That's also a really cool looking one. Uh, this one I think is pretty new. The infantry rifle has a little strap now. I don't recall seeing this piece before. And this one here, I like the little graphic they've got going on this one. I don't recall seeing this one with a graphic actually printed on the gun. So several new pieces, some old, some new. Oh, and then there's the plates. More art. We've got the Do It Spray Panel. This one's very vibrant in color with the green, white, and pink, and do it! Do it! And to do it, indeed, it looks like we have just a little more time for one more pack today. Let's check out the Fortnite Squad Mode pack with Bigfoot, King Flamingo, Elite Agent, and Prickly Patroller. This is a very vibrant looking four pack. On the back of the box, we have Prickly Patroller, just a cactus being a cactus. Elite Agent, failure is not an option. King Flamingo, some of us were born to fly. And finally, Bigfoot, International Man of Mystery. On the bottom here, you can see some of the other figures coming out soon. Some of these figure packs are really mixed up this time. I really don't know what is going on. There's Ruin and Eight Ball and Fallen Love Ranger. Ultimate Knight 2 we have. But some of the others, we haven't really seen much yet. Yet I have found figures like Master Key and Spider Knight. 
so it's really a little tricky to tell when and what has dropped and when it will drop again. For now, we'll just stick with the squad mode back. Let's open up. And out of the pack a very adventurous mode of squad, I don't think you could get a sillier group of figures. Each one holding onto a harvesting tool? Bigfoot even has two of them. The classic silverware approach. The variety of color on this pack is just great. Let's check out King Flamingo first. This is probably the pinkest, flamingoist figure I've ever owned. Oh my goodness, look at the layering of the feathers going down the suit. Very nicely done. A lot of texture with this guy. And with the little bands of green, what are those? Little pond uh, vines or something to decorate him up a little bit. Nice helmet on the Jonesy face. And a really cool flamingo harvesting tool. What's the correct name on that one? Very nice looking figure. And then of course Bigfoot. Almost feels like the Chewbacca of the Fortnite series of toys. There we go with Bigfoot. I think we've seen many of these pieces before moved around in various different figures. A little bit cold on the back there, Bigfoot. How come you don't have fur growing back there? But a nice figure, funny face on him. This one is probably the most serious over here, Elite Agent. How did Elite Agent get grappled with these guys? This is a very nice looking action figure, very sharp. Very serious compared to the other three. Camo, really cool night vision gear, helmet, something going on, harvesting tool, armored. She's tough. She's probably going to be leading the squad to victory. And then finally, we have Prickly Patroller. This is the one, well, both a Prickly Patroller and Flamingo King back here. They both are the ones that really stand out in this pack and make you go, oh my goodness, I have to find this pack because it's too funny. I love the texture, the cactus texture they've got going with her. That is funny. And the harvesting tool, whoop, the harvesting tool as well is a really nice touch with her. These figure packs are always some of the better fun deals to look for. Also included, we have some weapons. There's the, what is that, the minigun? Many of these with graphics on them now and a few other various weapons. I won't take too much time naming them today. And grass building materials on the bases of these. I don't believe I've seen grass building materials before for Fortnite figures, so that's a kind of a cool thing to have. I like how we're getting a little more materials each time around. So we were able to get through a few things today, right? A couple vending machines and a squad mode pack. It's incredible how much stuff was released in just a short time. I was really questioning what was going on with Jazzwares. Where was all the new Fortnite stuff? And then boom, Fortnite stuff. So obviously a lot more Fortnite to get through. We've got the Fortnite Battle Bus, the Squad Mode, the Baller, Ultima Knight, so much. We're going to have to pack it into different videos, I suppose. So this was part one. Look out for part two where we'll check out some more of these great toys. And what a crazy toy flosion it is. There's even Lego Mario and more Minecraft Dungeons. And there's Roblox Series 8. So bear with the squirrels as we get through all this fantastic toyage. If you like the video, please give a squike and squirrel eye, and we will get to these toys as fast as squirrely possible. That's what I have to say about that.